With the success of Terrifier 3, has Terrifier woken up a dormant genre in horror? <music> to answer that question, I think we have to go back to the early 70s and 80s of horror films. When I was growing up, we had something called the Video Nasty Era in the 80s. That's when our government decided that certain films in the horror genre were too nasty for any, anyone to own and rent on VHS at the time. So they went out and they confiscated all the video nasties of that era. Sometimes the video nasties were categorized based on their title alone or even the front covers. And sometimes the front covers had nothing to do with the movies. So that was back in a day where we did have video nasty films because there were some nasty movies out there like Cannibal Holocaust. But at the same time, it was quite tame compared to the, some of the movies that we get today. When you look at remakes like The Last House on the Left and I Spit on Your Grave, they are quite nasty films, the remakes themselves. But when you look at the originals, of these remakes that are a little bit more nasty when it comes to the visceral images that you see on screen. But when it comes to the blood, guts and gore of horror films of today's generation, we don't get that many. Terrifier being the exception to that. Now you saw films like Saw back in 2004 and Hostel just a year later. Those films were what they considered torture porn, but they came and went and it was only really Saw that lasted a little bit longer than the rest of those films in that sub-genre. But after a while, those torture porn films were replaced with more sequels, prequels, requels, reboots, remakes, you name it. They were replaced with those, those all those types of horror films. And then until recently, we had the elevated horror films that were not just about the blood, guts and gore, they were more about the character development and the story, which is not a bad thing because I love movies like It Follows and The Babadook, so those films are my cups of tea, but I really do miss those gory horror films and I think Terrifier is bringing that back. Now, if Terrifier wasn't a success at the box office, I don't think we would be talking about it as much as we are today, but we are because the first Terrifier film didn't make much of the box office because it had a really limited release. Terrifier 2 surprised everyone at the box office with over $15 million. And now look at Terrifier 3, it's made almost $60 million at the worldwide box office. So it just shows that fans are not just there for Art the Clown, they're there for the subject matter, they're there for the sub-genre and horror, and that is blood, guts and gore. The funny thing is, sometimes we do like to see the blood, guts and gore in the horror films, as long as it's got something attached to it, there's a character development and a story coming along with it. We're not just getting that type of imagery on screen just for the sake of it. But the funny thing about the Terrifier films is there's not much storyline there, albeit parts two and three are a little bit better in terms of storyline and character development. But ultimately, some fans aren't really there for the storyline. They're just there for Art the Clown, killing people in the manner that he does. So even though it still gives us a story for, for Terrifier 3. I don't think people will be opposed to seeing other horror films similar to Terrifier with absolutely no storyline. Am I okay with that? Sure. It's not as if that's the only horror films that we're going to be getting. We will get those Terrifier style films, which I'm happy with. We will get those elevated horror films, which I'm also happy with. We'll get the ghost movies, the slasher movies, the monster movies. We need to have a variety of everything. But one thing we were starved, starved of for a long time was the movies like Terrifier. So I personally think a film like Terrifier and its franchise has definitely woken up that subgenre in horror. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Do you think Terrifier has done something with that subgenre? And do you like it? Because some people just don't like the blood, guts, and gore unless it's got a purpose for it, of course. But leave your opinions down below, guys. Let me know what you think of it, and I'll talk to you soon. Meeting adjourned. I'll be right to get you, Barbara. Ever played in the cat. I want to look back!